What's going on guys, it's Junior here. So for today's video, one of my subscribers, in it? I hope you're subscribed, but yeah, one of the people in my comments told me I should make a video on how to be confident on the football pitch. So yeah, I'm going to make a video and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna like add it into terms of if maybe you're going on a trial or you're joining a new team and how to be confident as well. So let's get into the video and I'm gonna tell you how to be confident on the football pitch from my experience. I'm no psychologist, I'm trying to say, but I'll, I'm gonna try my best to help you guys. I'm coming round and I'm stopping, I'm dripping, I'm dripping, I'm dripping. This money is real. They wanna keep on just talking and talking and talking. They ain't got this money for real. Guys, I'm gonna give you lot five tips on how to be confident on the football pitch or when you're going on trial. So the first tip I'm going to give you guys is that from my experience, the moment that you step on the football pitch here, yeah, I don't care whoever you're playing against, even if they're better than you. Or even if you feel that they're better than you, you should never, like, you should never ever tell yourself someone is better than you. Or you should feel like, oh, you're inferior to someone. You know what I'm trying to say? The moment that you get on the football pitch is all about you. Because you, the moment you cross that line, no one that no one is your friend except, like, your teammates. The opposition don't matter. Whoever you're playing against, it doesn't matter. You just, you're going to get on the football pitch and you're going to win the game for your team. And that's the most important thing. No one else should matter. You shouldn't look at anyone and be like, oh, he's better. He plays for this team. He plays for that team. Because when I was young, that's what a lot of my teammates used to do. A lot of people that I used to be around, every time we were playing the games, they're like, oh, yeah, he plays for this team. He plays for that. And then it will bring them down because they're looking at other people. But the moment you step on the football pitch, it's all about you. You should never, ever feel inferior to anyone. The moment you step on the football pitch is your show. You're the best player on that pitch. And that's what you should believe. And even if it's hard at the start, it? to try and believe that you need to convince yourself because without confidence, like, you can't play football, you can't do it. You can have all the skill, all the talent, but that mental side of you believing that you're the best football on the pitch, if you don't believe that, you can never ever get to the highest level that you can be. So what I will tell you guys is that the moment you step on that football pitch, you're the best player on that pitch. Even if the evidence of what you're seeing, everyone being like, oh, he plays for this team, they play for the other team, is telling you otherwise, you need to believe that you're the best because the moment that you have that, everything will come from there. So that's the first tip on how to be confident on a football pitch. So guys, the next tip that I'm going to give you is that preparation builds confidence. So outside of your own team training, you should be doing individual training by yourself because when you're, in, you're doing training by yourself, you're going to feel more prepared because you feel like you're working harder than everyone else. And because you're doing training by yourself, when you get on the football pitch, you should feel like you've done it all. You feel like you've worked harder than any player on the football pitch. And that should give you confidence. So then this step is that preparation builds confidence. Work hard on your game so that when it's match time, you should feel confident that you've done it all. So guys, the next step that I'm going to give you is that you need to be prepared to, to make mistakes on the football pitch. The most confident footballers, what they do is that they're prepared to make mistakes. When I get on the football pitch, I know mistakes are inevitable. I know mistakes are going to happen. But it's not about the mistakes, it's about how you react. So when young people, most of the time, what they do is that when they're playing, they make mistakes. They put their head down and they start sulking. And that's them out of the game. But if you want to improve your confidence, if you want to get better, all you need to do is that the moment you make a mistake, you just move on. Because me, especially as a striker, when I miss a chance, what I, the moment I, when I miss a chance, what I tell myself is that the next chance I'm putting it away. I don't even I don't even care about this chance. I just forget about it because I know in my ability that well, the next chance I'll get, I'll punish them. So the moment you make a mistake, just forget about it and move on. Sometimes it's harder when you're young because you're gonna stick on and you're gonna soak. But you need to remember that it's just it's it's gone. It's in the past. You just move on to the next step. So what I'm going to tell you is that be prepared to make mistakes. And do not be scared to make mistakes. Go out there and fail, because failure is how you grow. No matter how what anyone says, failure is how you grow. You need to fall on your face before you can get up, you feel me? So you need to make mistakes and be welcome with making mistakes, because that's how you're going to learn. So guys, the last tip that I'm going to give you lot is that you need to have a positive self-talk. And also, you need to be positive-minded. So you need to be positive in terms of you need to feel like everything that you're doing on the football pitch is going to work out. And stop being negative and also talk to yourself you know just everyone has their own like you know thoughts in their head so you need to have positive thoughts in terms of whatever you're doing that's going to work out and stop being hard on yourself because the moment you stop being hard on yourself and you start like being positive everything's going to work out because it's the nature of the universe the people that are positive they get positive things and the people that are negative most, most likely they're not they're going to fail so have positive self-talks be positive minded and yeah that is the last step so guys, it's the end of the video now. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And I want to say thank you guys for everyone that subscribed. 
and also if there's any video that you want me to make put it in the comments and I, if i see it i'll make a video on it and i just want to say yeah be positive believe in yourself strive for greatness and yeah everything that you want it will work out so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video